Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective. Deferred expenses. Cash is paid before the expense is recognized. If you recall from the accrual accounting video, I introduced the matching principle. The matching principle effectively says that you should recognize expenses in the same accounting period as the revenues that they help generate. Imagine this here represents an accounting period. Let's say it represents a year. What we should do is when we incur revenues, such as sales revenues, we should also recognize the related expenses that help to generate those sales revenues. For example, the cost of the goods sold, the wages expense, the utilities expense, and the advertising expense. All of these are costs that we incurred that helped us to generate these revenues. Since we've received the benefit of these costs, we need to expense them so that the revenues and expenses are in the same accounting period. Consulting revenues. Some related expenses might be salary expense, travel expense, meals and entertainment expense. Interest income for a bank. One of the key related expenses for a bank that helps to generate interest income is their interest expense. Rent revenues. Some of the related expenses to a landlord of generating rent revenues are the maintenance fees as well as depreciation expense. This simply represents a spreading of the, the depreciable cost of the building over the many years that the building will provide benefits. Insurance premiums for an insurance company. Some of the key expenses for an insurance company are the claims incurred and the benefits provided. So if they have to pay to rebuild someone's home because it burned down in a fire, that would be an expense called claims incurred. Now let's go back to this idea of when the cash flows. If the cash for these expenses were to be paid out in the same period as the benefit received, that would be a perfect match and you wouldn't have to worry about deferred expenses or accrued expenses. But when cash is paid out before the benefit is received, then that actually generates an asset, usually a prepaid expense of some kind, or it could be inventory because we bought inventory and then we're going to sell it and expense it later. Another one might be a building. We paid for the building now, but we're going to be expensing it over the future as we receive the benefit of that building. Now, if we pay after the fact, so we receive the benefit of these expenses in this period, but we pay later, that would generate a liability. That would be an accrued expense, for example, or some type of payable. The three common matching principle situations we just talked about, but the one that we're going to focus on in this topic is when cash is paid before the benefit is received and the expense is recognized. These are deferred expenses.